Sunil. Jen Kent Mawini, a Bloomfield based lawyer, a personal friend of Fotis Dulos, and now a suspect in the murder of Jennifer Dulos. Kent Mawini, a Bloomfield based lawyer, a personal friend of Fotis Dulos, and now a suspect in the murder of Jennifer Dulos. Kent Mawini? charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Mawini was arrested by state police Tuesday and is charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Mawini served as Fotis Dulos lawyer in the past, representing him on civil matters, including a lawsuit filed by Gloria Farber, Jennifer's mother. In Mawini's arrest warrant, his name appeared in both Michelle Draconis and Fotis Dulos alibis for the morning Jennifer Dulos was reported missing, May 24th. Mawini was interviewed twice by police. First, he claimed there was no meeting scheduled between Dulos and himself the morning of May 24th. But in his second interview, he says there was a prearranged meeting stating he arrived at Dulos' Jefferson Crossing home just before 8 a.m., where he stood for almost an hour before leaving without seeing Dulos. Mawini also claimed he had a concussion from falling down a set of stairs the day after Jennifer disappeared and had to replace his cell phone from the damage. Phone records show Mawini called Dulos the night of May 24th when Dulos was allegedly dumped dumping bloody bags of evidence in Hartford. But Mawini denies any phone contact with Dulos that day. Mr. Mawini was an important part of our defense. We believe he was with Mr. Dulos that morning. Now that he's been charged, he's going to be testimonially unavailable to us, at least for the time being. So we're concerned. Now Mawini has been arrested before. He's facing an allegation of sexual assault and was charged with violating a protective order last year, filed by his estranged wife. In May, Mawini was under court order not to contact his wife. That's when Fotis Dulos comes into the picture. According to court documents, Dulos contacted Mawini's wife to meet with with her several days before Jennifer Dulos disappeared. Dulos told Mawini's wife he was trying to help reconcile the couple. According to court documents, they met at Max Oyster's Bar in West Hartford on May 19th. At this meeting, Dulos asked her to meet again, but this time at his Farmington home. Mawini's estranged wife later telling detectives she thought it was strange Dulos had a sudden vested interest in her relationship with her husband and felt uncomfortable that Dulos allegedly kept inviting her back to his residence. According to an arrest warrant, she stated she believed that Mawini wanted her dead. Also in Mawini's arrest warrant, the Windsor Rodden Gun Club in East Granby is mentioned. Two members were hunting on the land when they came across a large hole in the ground that appeared to be hidden. One of the members described the hole as, quote, 100% a human grave, stating inside the hole was a bag of lime and a tarp. According to club members, Mawini helped establish the Windsor Rodden Gun Club. State police saying his cell phone pinged near the club once in March and again on May 31st just several days after Jennifer Dulos disappeared. Zania Maldonado, Fox 61 News.